Hey, welcome to Dice Quest. I'm JJ and I play Rangrim Lighthammer. JJ! This dice is going to dice hell. I rolled a nat one. <laughs> okay. So. I got a 12. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> you got fucked. You are just like. Um, you you almost have a minor panic attack seeing this giant <laughs> shark overhead. You're fine. I mean, yeah, there's a big shark, but pff, I don't start flailing, do I? You do. No. <laughs> <laughs> panic attack, JJ. Um, yeah, I guess that's fair. The shark kind of like looks down at you, continues eating fish. Doesn't okay. seem to be too bothered by you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. Like nice. most of the things it's eating are, a, like. A little larger than you. You would think it would be fine eating something your size, though. So yeah, like, don't get too comfy. It doesn't like, like I'm not. I'm not getting seems, close to like, it. Like I want to. It almost seems like it's not bothering because you're so far away. Because like a lot of these fish are just kind of swimming around it. Yeah, we better hurry before it runs out of fish. Okay. Do I reach the ledge? Yeah. Okay. We do it. All right. You guys swim up. Well, um, yeah, but yes. very carefully, like, staying against it. Like, against the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You guys swim to this pedestal, make another wisdom saving throw, Rangrim. Uh, now that I've passed the shark, is it still in front of me? Yes. Okay. That Don't wasn't a one, but it <laughs> was, uh, it was, um, it wasn't 13, which isn't that great either. All right. You feel a real strong urge to grab this hilt. Dude, why do and I feel pull like it I, from the stone? I feel like I should because, become King Arthur. I feel like well, I feel like I should because it's a flame <laughs> tongue, and I worship Herdine. So I guess I mean yeah, that makes sense. That that makes sense why I would feel a pull, and that it would be only be me. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the sword and pull it out. Okay. Can I back away from him a little bit as he does this? Sure. Just Thank like you. grab it. And just, sh- Okay. Or whatever. You don't really feel any extra effort as lifting a great sword off of like the ground underwater would be. It's a great sword. Yeah. Okay. So like, doesn't seem like the stone is giving any like resistance to you. And as soon as you see the tip of the sword, you black out. Ah. You feel oh this God. water start rapidly getting colder. And the temple starting to crumble around you. You're gonna have to save my ass. What if I just take the sword? (laughs) You see him start to quickly (laughs) soar to the top of the water. Oh, then he's fine. Like, very quickly. So do I have to grab the Like, the ceiling almost crumbles around him. Okay. So is he still holding on to it, or do I have to grab it? He seems to be holding on to it, but at this point he's like... A hundred feet above you. Okay. So I'll follow trying to dodge okay. big old rocks. Okay. You swim up. As you're <laughs> swimming up, you start to run out of breath. I can make it. <laughs> can I make it? <laughs> you're pretty flower. deep underwater. <laughs> I'll grab another one. Okay. You continue to swim up as you grab another flower. You see him breach the water. And he seems to be floating there back like, floating on his back, sword still in hand, and he's floating on top of the water. As you reach the top, like, this water has gotten cold. Like, Pacific Ocean cold. And, Vanny, make a perception check. Um, let's see. Oh, God, don't screw me. That's a 16 right there. This figure seems to have gotten closer to you. Um, it doesn't seem like it's noticed you, but it does seem to be going towards the lake. At this distance, Ugh. you can make out that it is a human. Uh, go ahead cool. and make one more perception check for me to see like what specifically about this human you make out. Uh, I got a 15. You seem... To notice that it's walking with the assistance of, like, a large tree branch, almost like a walking stick. Okay. Um, and there's something odd about it. You can't, like, not the stick itself about this figure. You just can't quite place your finger on it. 
and then you almost hit yourself because it's really obvious. He seems to be missing one of his legs. Oh my god! Injured Isaac! Is, Is he it back? really? <laughs> you I'm guys don't know. Job. I'm a blow up his other leg. What would you like to do? Run up to him. Yeah, it's gonna I'm take gonna a little it. while. Dude, you still have his leg, don't you? Yeah. Are you gonna hit him with his leg? I was thinking about it. You know, you probably shouldn't charge this dude when you've got, like, one other person who has no idea who this is. And then so the isn't other two he, people. like, a sorcerer as well? Or, like, he was a warlock, I A think. warlock. Oh, yeah, he, he was, Because he was shooting wasn't Eldritch he? Blast. I know, we just tried to wreck him. You know what? Yeah. How good is a warlock if he can get his leg blown off? Pretty so are... good, because he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. So are you running towards this person sans leg? Uh, no, I'm gonna stay with uh, my companion and let her know about injured Isaac and what I think this human might be. Okay. Back to you guys. <laughs> okay. I'm going oh, to- and Vanny, at this point, like, it has started getting significantly colder around this lake. Got it. Like, it doesn't seem move- like the water is emanating heat anymore. Can I move away from the lake a little bit? Sure. Okay, we've moved away from the lake. I'm still looking at injured Isaac and telling my companion about him. Okay. Sorry. All right, I back s- to you guys. Can I see my boat, like how we rode out from here? Is yeah. it pretty far away? You guys are about 400 feet from this boat. Would it be a waste of time to get it at this point? Um, let me take a quick look at the oh, map. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... You guys are about three miles from shore, so you can either swim 400 feet and then row three miles, or you can swim three miles, dragging an unconscious dwarf behind you. Okay, I'm gonna just grab him. Okay. I'm assuming by, like, the hair, because I have no idea. (laughs) By the hair! (laughs) Uh, Or, like, by the arm. (laughs) Nah. (laughs) And just drag him back to the boat. Okay, make an athletics check for me. Oh no. It's not easy to swim as you're dragging someone about. That would be kind of a you around. I got a two with the modifiers. It's a nat one. That's a nat one. Oh, does it not matter no. to that one? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. So, you start pulling, and you're doing pretty well. And you, like, look back to make sure he's doing fine. And you have been dragging him face down in the water. Oh, for I the, didn't know he was face down. For the he past, said back he was. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been dragging oh him for about a minute, face down underwater. He's fine. You're not sure if he's breathing or not. He's fine. I'll flip yeah, him over, but he's okay. fine. Are you gonna continue to try to drag him? Well, I'll um, check a pulse, but I will drag him still. So. Okay. Gonna just check you my pulse try underwater. Him face up yes. while you're at it. Okay. There seems to be a pulse. You're fine. Cool. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't die. Make another <laughs> athletics check if you're going to try to drag him again. Well, it's not like I can wake his ass up. Can I? You could try. Can I, like, slap him? Sure. I'm going to slap you. Wake up. You don't feel anything. You don't stir awake. Okay, then I have to drag him. <laughs> Dragging back to the boat. No! <laughs> Three. I'm almost going to kill you again. You start to try to pull him, but you find yourself instead of, like, swimming, starting to go underwater a little too often, Mm -hmm. you think it would be much easier to get the boat row to him and then pull him on the boat. Will he be okay if I will he not be I'm floating. You are floating. I mean, unless something attacks him. So, I'm gonna leave you here, fam. You're gonna be fine. Okay. I'll go get the boat. Do I have to make another athletic check? No. Swimming on your own is pretty easy. Yeah. (laughs) You swim over. I you get on the boat, in the boat and find you row him. over to him. Getting him Dra- in the boat will probably be the biggest challenge. Um, let's see. You might not want to roll that dice anymore. <laughs> it's not doing you good. <laughs> it did fine the Plus first it, time. Plus, it, it isn't like the normal d20. It's one of the counting ones. Um, go ahead and make an athletics check to okay. pull him onto the boat. I'm not going to roll Without tipping the boat. Uh, 18 plus 
You pull him onto the boat. No issues. Sweet. Let's start rowing to shore. Cool. All right. Well, I'm not going to be rowing. I'm passed out. Oh, yeah. You're dead weight. Yeah. You start rowing. (laughs) After about an hour, you start stirring awake. You don't really remember much of what happened after you pulled the sword from the stone, King Arthur. Okay. But you're on the boat now. You're very cold. Your clothes are soaked. But you have a sword in your hand. Is it like when Thanos awakes and he has the soul stone? <laughs> Start crying. Except you're like drenched. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not laying in a puddle, I'm in a boat. Yeah. Okay. On a massive lake. Okay. Cool. Does the sword have a scabbard? Not that you've seen. You guys managed to row to shore. And Vanny, you are keeping an eye on this person. As they get within about 300 yards, you do recognize them as Injured Isaac. Yes! And he seems to be a bit south of you. He seems to be a bit what? South. He is also heading south. I swear, if we put Injured Isaac in the lake, he's gonna come back up as, like, some kind of water elemental or something. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, didn't we bring him to the Divine people? Yeah, the Divine Watch. Wait a second. Then how did he get out? I feel like I'm just gonna kill him this time. You know what? I'm just gonna say that the Divine Watch let him go. (laughs) (laughs) Who knows? Maybe they're a bunch of assholes. I'm going to, um, great question. How about, I can I look at injured Isaac a little bit more? Is he like pissed off at me? How is he looking? I mean, he looks it like he's having some difficulty walking with sans leg plus walking stick, <laughs> but you know. It's fine. Is he wearing anything particular? I like mean, a white cloak? <laughs> no, he's not wearing a white cloak. Um, he's oh, not wow. even wearing the like dark cloak you guys had initially found him in. He seems to be wearing like a traveler's style cloak made of leather. God damn it. JJ, can you go upstairs and turn off the AC? Yes. So, what are you going to do? Um All right. So, he's within 300 yards, you said, right? Yeah. He's about 300 yards away. All right. Can I just go very gently talk to him? <laughs> He's like, hey, I know sure. we blew your leg off, and I kept hey, it, you, but... I know my you friend, like... like, blew your ass to Kingdom Come, but uh, let's have a nice conversation. <laughs> so are you, like, calling to him from this current distance? Injured Isaac. Or are yeah. you, like, walking hey, over? Injured Isaac! <laughs> He kind of, like, looks over at you and seems to have, like, just noticed that you're there. (laughs) What are you gonna do? He seems to have stopped. Can I gently walk over to him? How do you gently walk? Calmly. You can calmly walk. (laughs) I'm not sure how you would gently walk. Uh, Just, like, sneakily. I don't know. No, it's not sneakily. I just want to walk up to him like I have no intention of injuring him, even if I do. He seems to be backing up as you're walking towards him. (laughs) He's scared. Go beat him with his leg. I'm not surprised. Uh, Can I ask him to stop? Please wait. I just want to speak to you. Make a persuasion check. Okay. I got a 17. He stops. He's interesting. Cool. Yay. Alright. How close am I going to be able to get to him before he walks away from me or runs away? Um, I'm gonna say like 150 Within feet. stabbing distance? <laughs> no, 150 feet. Okay. Alright. Uh, Mr. Isaac. What? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Mr. Isaac, yeah. how the hell did you escape our uh, the watch? Yeah, I'm 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 confused about the Isaac part. What do you mean, Isaac? <laughs> Why are you calling me Isaac? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> because that's the name we gave you, injured Isaac. That's why. <laughs> My name's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, that's lame. 
<laughs> my name's Dan. Wigan Isaac. Hey guys, my name's Dan. I'm a warlock. I work at Smith's. <laughs> my name is Dan. I'm a warlock. I'm really I'm Dan sorry about all that confusion earlier. Hey, listen. I'm Dan the warlock. <laughs> um, okay, Dan. If yeah. that is really your true name. I mean, it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep calling you Isaac boy. Anyway, your name's Isaac now. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> your name is Isaac now. What are you doing out here? I don't really know. Okay, did anyone send you here? Um, make a persuasion check. Okay. Oh, it's a fourteen. No. Okay. Um, what was the last thing you remember? Make another persuasion check. I need to persuade him into remembering. You need to persuade him into telling, into him telling you (laughs) what he remembers. Oh, (laughs) Uh, that's a, that's a good old four. I remember enough, which is why we're this far away. That's a good point. Uh, my uh, friend, the witch, is not here, so uh, I'm no danger to you. Uh, yeah, instead of instead of blasting off your leg, I'm gonna run and steal your shins. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take an arm next. Thanks. Yeah, I, I seem to recall you stole my leg. Just toss I it back. No <laughs> like I fucking it no into your backpack. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh yeah, my bad. Uh, you, you can have a back. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, anyway, so, uh, you don't know how you got here, you don't know why you're here, and you don't know what happened to the Divine Watch. Who's the Divine Watch? What? Who's the Divine Watch? (laughs) You know, the people in the white cloaks after we kicked your ass, I mean, uh, very politely took you to them. (laughs) They took you off. Make a persuasion check. Is that a 10? No, I, I don't remember those at all. Damn it. Okay. Um, do you know anything about this lake? I mean, it's big. Okay, Injured Isaac <laughs> is totally going to go do reconnaissance with his buds in the camp that captured us. Just saying. Dude, oh, hey, that's head, a good idea. What head. about your buds in the camp? No, really. Make another persuasion check. That's a net 20! What buds in the camp? You know, on the other side of the lake. All your cultist friends. At this point, that make an insight for. check. An insight check? Yes, because I feel like you should have done this a while ago, but I'm going to prompt it. Okay, that's a 12. All right. He seems to genuinely not know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Uh, Do you know anything about the guys that hired you? What do you mean the people that hired me? You know, to start releasing imps into the village and start killing people. What do you mean imps? Did the Divine Watcher erase his memory? Is he a cleric? trying to brainwash them? What did you say, Maddie? What the fuck? Uh, I, I don't even know what to ask anymore. <laughs> um, okay. What's the last... Oh, I already asked that question. He doesn't know the last thing he remembers. No, cool. he said he remembers enough. Okay. Alrighty. Let me ask that question again. What is the, like, literal last thing you remember? Make another persuasion check. And I swear to God, if it's someone blowing someone up, I got another 20! You calling me? I mean, that was about two minutes ago. Pretty easy to remember. Scree! Okay. (laughs) Um, I give up. I'm gonna hand the conversation over to somebody else. You're the, You're only, the only, only one there. there. The only one there. Ah, 
Okay, you know what? Can I just take injured Isaac into my custody and just walk him down to where we were? He's not going to let you get within 150 feet of him. So are you guys just, okay. like, loudly talking to each yeah. other? Yeah. <laughs> I? Yeah, we're just yelling at each other. What do you remember? They're, like, yelling at each other from, like, the halfway and, like, end point of a football field. <laughs> oh it's literally God. 50 yards. Damn. Um, can I politely politely ask if Intrad Isaac will follow me. I mean, what was his name? David? Dan. Dan. <laughs> Dan. 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 Dan doesn't have the same ring to it. Although I feel like it does. I feel like Dan the Warlock sounds like someone who's gonna sell you some like No, Dan the Warlock like uh some like vitamins. <laughs> no, Dan some <laughs> Dan the Warlock some sounds like the yeah. main character of some like really bad nineties sitcom. <laughs> But hey, like, I'm Dan I, the Warlock. I grew up in the Bronx. It's like, <laughs> like, and it's like it's a full on like everybody loves Raymond style. Everybody loves Dan the Warlock. And sometimes they just have episodes where it's just this mind twisting, <laughs> like deep dive into the temple of an eldritch abomination, and they never mention it again. Just never reference to it again. Never that reference just it. And it's like completely different tone than the rest of the show. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. He is going to politely decline your invitation to follow you. Presumably <laughs> okay. to your compatriots, one of which blew off his leg. <laughs> Alright. She just proudly this, raised her hand. Do my that word my that no moment. one will hurt you, and I also promise to bring in someone of our group that won't hurt you anyway. Make a persuasion I'm check. I'm straight up gonna like walk up and kill this dude. That's a terrible succeed. promise to make. Uh, ten. No. <laughs> oh. I, I think don't that was, believe you. I think that was the wise decision. <laughs> Run, dude. <Yeah. laughs> Probably. I'm, I'm gonna sorry, go okay. now. And he starts okay. walking away. Still facing you, but walking away. <laughs> Having some extreme difficulty sans leg. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna let him go for now. Okay. <laughs> okay. And now I'm gonna now I'm gonna go back to Lyra and uh, Lya. Lya. Same difference. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell her what I asked, what I said, what he said. All right. Okay. So you get back. You wait for. A little while. It's coming towards sunset when you see these guys' boat start to come ashore. Nice. Welcome. Hello, my fellow friends. Thanks. We're cold as fuck. <laughs> it is quite cold. <laughs> cold. <laughs> um, wait, no, I have my fire sword. You're fine. And I have my boots. You're fine with your boots. Your sword is not on fire. <laughs> I'm gonna um, get leukemia. No, not leukemia. <laughs> <laughs> Tuberculosis. <laughs> leukemia is not cancer. I know. <laughs> the problem is I know that, and it's still came hypothermia? out. Hypothermia? Hypothermia. Um, hypothermia. Pneumonia. pneumonia. Tuberculosis. <laughs> Tuberculosis. I don't even know if tuberculosis is right, but it makes it's more sense cancer. than no. leukemia. <laughs> the worst part is I know that so well. Man, I got <laughs> breast cancer from that lake. <laughs> Some rank lake. <laughs> Yeah, that's why the lake's cursed. <laughs> Someone just dropped some uranium into it or something. It's just that's really it's... radioactive. It's just an extremely radioactive lake. That's what made it so warm. Oh my god. No, what's the sword? It's oh, like the a, sword is gonna like give me a nuclear yeah. power plant. This sword is like a nuclear power plant <laughs> attached to my back. It's fine. Alright. What's everyone gonna do? Get out of the boat and try not to die. Okay. I feel like this is a pretty solid Chill. plan. <laughs> yeah. what to do. I, I kind of agree with that. I'm gonna hop out of the boat and um be out of the boat. Okay. <laughs> uh, are is I are that are any of you going to greet any of the others? Uh, I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna like hello. <laughs> like wave. Okay. I guess. <laughs> wave. You're like, hey I got a sword. I'm just gonna like wave. Uh, I mean I can't really attach the sword to my back. Nope. It's just kind of you in your hand. You can slide it down your shirt, but I wouldn't suggest that. <laughs> Especially if it's, like, a fire sword, like the vision <laughs> suggested, and it just, like, lights on fire. 
why it's attached to my back. That would suck. That would be really You can shove it down, like, one of your pant legs. I would just hope you don't cut yourself. That would be worse. That would be so much worse. The sword also (laughs) does seem to be extremely sharp. Whether they're good or not. Like, if you held out a hair, you could probably cut it. If it was, like... Just held by your yeah, finger want, at one I end. I don't want that on my leg. It would probably cut off my leg before I it's realized it. Very cut off. sharp sword. <laughs> like whoa, my leg like, is missing. Straight razor level sharp. I would be injured, Rangroom. You could straight up shave with this sword. <laughs> Please don't. It's I feel not like it would be bad to shave with though, because it's like a great sword. Yeah, it's massive. And it's massive. But it's, it's sharp enormous. enough that you could, theoretically. So what does it look like? If you really like wanted to, like great sword like. <laughs> it really doesn't look that like fantastic. It just kind of looks like a sword. Okay. Like there um, aren't really any inlaid gems. There are no special carvings. Just seems to be a great like it's a nice great sword. This is a really It's very great well sword. balanced. Like it's a great length. Is but it- it's like I'm gonna like try and hold it up to the light. Do I notice anything different about it? Like when I kind of turn it in the light? No. Okay. Seem reacts like a normal sword would. Cool. Reflects light. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, can he ask his god to maybe light it on fire for him? Uh, I was thinking I would have Shay the wizard identify it, but that's also oh, an idea. That's a good idea too. <laughs> <laughs> Casting <laughs> identify. Can I do that? We'll say you can have it. Because <laughs> why not? Okay. We don't know what spells you have. identify this? Sure. Okay. Should I just roll? No. Pray? No. So, you do you want to spend a spell Kiss slot it. or not? <laughs> well, sure. Are we going to be engaging in contact soon? You're not sure. Combat, not contact. Same I know what you meant. Yes. Sorry. Uh, I'll use a spell slot for this. Okay. Because so, I almost drowned him. Shay takes the sword, sits down for a minute, starts casting Identify during that time. What are you, Vanny, Rang- uh, Rangrim, and Laya going to do? I'm going to ask how the mission went, and if they touched the octopus. You don't, you don't know, know about, about the octopus. octopus. I know it in soul. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. No, I'll ask them how their mission went. <laughs> you can't respond to your spelling. Yeah, I'm doing the magic. But Rangrim, you can. You're not doing anything. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we saw an octopus. <laughs> and it got I'm a not even going to say that. <laughs> well. We found the sword. Went well. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm doing magic. Anyone I... want to share any other stories? Um, Perhaps about someone from our past that I'll we saw like, recently. I'll be like, Marilyn found a belt and a knife. You don't know about those. Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've cool. seen a belt uh, and a I knife saw... on her, but you're, and you're not entirely <laughs> sure if it was there before. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, I saw Injured Isaac. I'm going to kind of, like, be concerned. Like, I'm going to, like... Um, so Rangram's gonna, like, kind of, like, look his head at you really fast and be like, what? I saw injured Isaac. But we gave him to the Divine he's, Watch. He's still legless. Jack, do I know what the Divine Watch does to prisoners? As a traveler for the Divine Watch? It, like, it's not really a guild-wide policy. It's yeah. kind of like, if you're, if you follow, like, the God of Death, probably gonna die. What? F- follow, <laughs> like, the... Like, depends on what god they follow, really. So, like, what does my god do? Um, kind of open to the person more. Like, Herodine's not really too worried about the treatment of prisoners. Like, you've heard some people who torture their prisoners for information, some kill them, some let them live in prison, some release them. Herodine doesn't really care? No. Do some burn them? Some. Are there crazy pyromaniacs in my guild? Or in my sight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, like, my character don't like that, but, like, to me, that's cool. JJ um, likes that. Uh, okay. Do I know what the god or goddess of light does? 
Um, here, I actually have the thing. We can look up her name now because awesome. my binder isn't done. Okay, I don't I'm remember just, all of the. I don't remember the whole there, Pantheon. I there are remember. so many. Yeah. Like. Is are this you your own using? Pantheon? What is this your own Pantheon? Yeah. Oh, okay. We were right. It is Brigid. Brigid is the god name. Goddess of life. Uh, what is Brigid? What is the um guild on Brigid's? section they're they try to keep their prisoners alive for the most part um depending on like how dangerous they are they'll keep them in prison but it's not too unusual for them to release them if they don't think they're a big threat or if they don't know enough information to be dangerous if they do like return to an organism an organization excuse me oh okay cool so then I wouldn't be that surprised. I'd be like, looks like they're like, free then. It's kind of weird, though, because, like, you would assume that, air quotes, injured Isaac, real name Dan, knows, um, <laughs> like, at least where he's been, or, like, at least the faces of who he's been talking to. And given what you've seen of this organization, it seems like they have means to get stuff done. So it is kind of weird that they released him, given, like, what he knows. But it is possible. Hmm. Like, it, it's not super weird, but it's weird. Uh, Vanny, do you also tell them, like, the questions you asked and his responses? His answers? Yeah. Yes, okay. I do. At this point... You're done casting Identify on this sword. It seems to be called Flame Tongue. It, I'll give you the stats because I modified them, but I forgot to print them out. Okay. So I can send them to you. Sounds good. They're somewhere. On my computer. Okay. I'll send them to you after this. Okay. Um, if it comes up, I remember them vaguely off the top of my head, though. Okay. So basically, you have to attune to this weapon. It's a great sword. When he attunes to it, he can will the blade to light on fire. And it sheds light in a certain radius, gives off warmth, and deals some fire damage in addition to its normal great sword slashy slash damage. Can I just do that whenever I want? Yup. Okay. Cool. I should probably stop doing that. I'm sorry. That's fine. You're totally fine. I'm going to be like, awesome, thank you very much. <laughs> and you're down a spell slot. All right. Cool. What does everyone want to do? It is getting late, and especially the two of you that went swimming in the water are cold and tired. I am going to suggest camp. I'll agree. Okay. I'm always down for sleep. Vanny. Agreed. All right. You guys set up a camp. Anyone lighting a fire? It would be suggested. Um. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'll light a fire. Okay. I was gonna try and do it with my sword, what? but I'm not attuned. What are you going to light on fire? Um, I have a tinderbox, don't I? Yeah. The boat. But what are you going to light on fire? Uh, is there because any... like the tinderbox has some like dry brush in it to get the fire started? Well, yeah. But it won't like burn like a log would. Yeah, um, so we need, do we have any sort of, like, small twigs around here? Because Make a nature flowers? check. Uh, the flowers uh, would be, as as the I flowers, know, no, because they were recently alive, so they would burn. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, kind of bad, like the southern. <laughs> you don't find any small twigs, the only real, like, wood around here is that rowboat you guys were in recently. That on the water. The bottom has. That's true. You could chop it up with your sword. Or don't you have an axe? I have a hammer. Oh, a hammer. I could crush the wood. <laughs> it just make some Smash splinters. Um, what if we need that boat? I'm gonna be like, um, Laia, do you know anything about the wilderness? We should have taken his, like... I mean, I, I've lived in the forest for a very long time, but gestures around her, not exactly the forest. Um, kind of out of my element. In all honesty. Okay. Um, even so, do you know where uh, 
some twigs might be that we could use I mean, firewood? like, my best guess is somewhere around those flowers, but I don't recall seeing any, like, bushes. So. Can we burn the leg? It would smell rancid. I don't want to burn the leg. I want to keep the leg. <laughs> <laughs> the leg's nasty. We should get rid of it. No, it's my leg. I'll decide what to do with it. Lia thinks the best bet is the boat. I think we're done because the whole thing went cold. That's a good point. I think we found all we need to find in this lake. Well, can't you do that, like, religion sense? Religion sense. Oh, yes. I don't know. I don't so I'm gonna the, like, the full like on like power. Batman little transition music, but instead of the bat symbol, it's just religion sense. <laughs> it's just a cross. <laughs> My religion sense is tingling. <laughs> um, scan the lake. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna divine sense on the lake. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. I, I don't, don't know what roll. you're reaching um, for, but I yeah. was gonna roll, but I'm a doofus. It no longer feels desecrated. It just feels consecrated now. <laughs> I'm not gonna attune to the sword. I feel like I shouldn't attune to the sword. Would I have found out if it was cursed of with Make an identify a, spell? You would have discovered all of its properties. All of its magical properties. Make a religion check. Is my god evil? Are no. we the bad guys? <laughs> I thought we the my, bad guys? I thought my god was like know. neutral. I thought my god was neutral your, your, and I was gonna use fire for good. Your god isn't evil. No. Okay. I just wanna uh, like Damn it, I was hoping Ranger would check. Um, yeah. decide his life choices and review them. Okay. Yeah, that would be an interesting character. You arc. remember reading some very old books like nearing nine hundred ish years old? that um, mentioned a temple devoted to Herdine in the middle of a fairly large city that um, when a pair of the gods, Herdine, and I need to look up the name because I didn't expect to exposit this story today. Ta-da! Exposition. Everybody's favorite. Oh, the temple crumbled. Okay, it's not the sword. Or maybe it's the sword. Maybe I'm gonna attune to this and die and become evil. He'll be fine. So sorry, not a pair. A trio of the gods kind of like got in a scuffle. It was Herdine versus Elise and Lear. Elise being the goddess of rivers and lakes, and Lear being the god of seas. They kind of didn't like each other for quite a while. So the two paired up and sunk his temple. And the rest of the city with it, killing quite a few people, but also mainly just to spite Herdine. So, like, by Damn. your guess, the, like, desecrated part was the fact that it, like, that part of the lake came out of, like, a feud between gods. Mm. It wasn't that, like, anything was really heavily cursed. It okay. was, like, because the gods were acting against each other. And it kind of cursed the lake. Yeah. Okay. And you remember reading other stuff about the lake, but it was kind of, like, glossed over in your teachings as you were focusing on Herodine. Got it. That was just, like, a feud between them. Yeah, it was, like, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, so I can attune to this sword. Yes. Okay. All right, so what are we lighting on fire, guys? Pyros, let's go. I'm assuming pyro you're... power. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna take the boat and use my sword to smashy, chop it smashy. up. Okay. Oh, you're gonna use the sword. Yeah. Is that oh, okay? You're gonna use the hammer. Well, I was gonna like cut off pieces. Oh, so that might be still slightly usable. Yeah, I don't wanna <laughs> just like slam it. I mean, you would be able to like hit with your hammer at like the seams of the planks. And probably break some free. Just kind of like lightly with a giant warm hammer. No, not lightly at all. Like oh. smash it, but like at the seams, so it doesn't splinter as much. I could try that, and then because it's it's, it's not like one solid piece of wood that was carved out. It's made from quite a few planks. 
Is this a nice boat? Am I gonna feel bad for taking this? It's not that nice. We okay. stole the boat. Oh yeah, we stole the Why boat. Why would you feel bad about it? I don't care. I want to burn this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drag the boat up. Okay. And start hammering at the seams. Okay. Do you have thaumaturgy? I assume not, because I have no idea what that is. Okay. It's like quick, fast, dirty magic. No. I don't think so. That's kind of what thaumaturgy is. Would that be like, a spell or it's a can flame trip. and shit? No, I don't okay. have it. Okay. I only have Firebolt, Minor Illusion, and Ray of Frost. Okay. Alright, so you start breaking apart this rowboat. And you kind of make a pile. You lighting it on fire as well? Rangram? Yeah. Okay. Back to box, so. Yeah. So you light this. These scraps of boat on fire. How big do you want this fire to be? Not super huge. Okay. Just enough to keep us warm and like, All right. maybe cook food. Alright. You guys settle down for a long rest. Yep. And because I realized this today, I forgot to have you guys eat rations. So I'm going to, I'm going to start that today. I'm going to say you guys had enough rations to get through the whole adventure to this point. Does that seem fair yeah. to everyone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that seems like it. I don't remember how many you had. Just write down how many you use. Because I know you had like four or something like that. How many have I, what I've used then? How many days has it been? It's been more than four, but I'm not counting my mistake against you guys. Okay. So should I just have like... Just mark down that you, you're eating one tonight. Okay. 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 All right, and then long rest time for everyone? Yes. Yep. Yes, sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, during an hour that you're not sleeping, do you want to attune to this sword? Yes. Okay. So you can go ahead and do that during the long rest. Awesome. Is anyone going to be taking watches? I think we should take shifts again. So, like, um, I can take a watch after I attune. So, okay. yeah. I'll take a watch. Who's taking first, though? So, Vanny could take first. And then I, and then for, like, the last hour, I could attune, and then my second watch would start then. Okay. I can take a watch after then. Okay. And then what about If, if you guys want, Lia can take two, because she's an elf and only needs to sleep for four. Got it. Sweet. So maybe we'll have her take, so, like, the last two, and then, or... So yeah, Lyak could take the last two. So, I'm... You can either attune or take a watch, right? Okay, Rangram. so I'm gonna be like, I would like to attune to this. So, if I could not take a watch tonight, and take more watches next time, then that would be wonderful. Mm hmm Okay. So, the night goes uneventfully. The fire burns most of the night... When it gets a bit low, you guys pull off another piece from this boat, set it on top, and it continues to burn throughout the night. Morning rolls around, and what would everyone like to do? Um, well, what's our plan? Can I make a perception check for food, other than our rations? Make a perception check. Okay. Did the mic stand almost fall over? I. Uh, Knock one of the feet a little bit. Oh, okay. I got a ten. Um, the only source of food you see around you are the fish in this lake. I feel like that's a terrible idea for some reason. It's I'll be like this lake is consecrated. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. No problem. <laughs> I am not gonna touch any of the fish in this lake. <laughs> Does not change it. I'm good. Alright. Uh oh, I'm gonna Break my fast with a day of ration. Or with one ration. Although a ration is a full day of rations, right? Yeah. So I would need a third so of ration. You guys are like, I assume, like, you guys finish your ration, like, at the night. Okay. Okay. Like, you're eating it throughout the day whenever there's some, like, walking to be done. Okay. Got it. So, and, what like, is... I'm. See, so yeah, I'm gonna eat breakfast. I, like, I'm also assuming you guys are just drinking from your water skins. And I'm not worrying about those emptying. Okay. Is this lake salt water? Yes. Okay. Do not drink. <laughs> but there does seem to be fish that are freshwater fish. You said Very that. Very strange. 
You said that but before. I know why now. Do you? I think so. Why? I mean, you know what to say again? I, I'm curious why you think. Oh, I thought it was because they, like, flooded this lake. And so, like, if they took anything from other lakes that might have been fresh water, that would have contributed. And also... From what you recall, it almost seems like the water rose instead of, like, coming in from other locations. Mm. Maybe the gods... You know what? I don't know. Maybe the gods put fish there. Fucking gods are in this. Fish came from the gods. (laughs) (laughs) Just rained fish. Godfish. Godfish. That's why in the Divine Watch, there's a whole group dedicated to worshipping salmon. (laughs) The Salmon Watch. <laughs> is that a thing? No. Well, I was so concerned for a second. I was like, oh lord. Oh, of course not. Why would we trust this? Well, these you people? know what? Maybe. Maybe. It, maybe. I don't know. Is it a thing check? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Lai's going to ask so, what's your guys' plan? Well, did we all talk about the visions me and Vanny had? Yeah. Right? So we found the sword. Yeah. What were the other items? And a light then, hammer and a ring. But were there any other, like... Locations images? behind yeah, locations, them? Um, behind the light hammer seemed to be, like, this cloudscape filled with floating islands. Okay. And the ring was in... God, I need to remember this now. Where is my thing? This book. This one. Um. So it was kind of floating in a, like, in an area filled with magma, but above it was floating islands, and you could hear the distant screams of a massive battle. Hell. I don't know. Okay, sorry. So we probably have to find these other items. Right? Like, that makes sense to me? Yeah. Um, but I have no idea what any of these places could be. Can I make, like, a... What would that be, like, a nature history? You could make a nature check, but I am also going to say the wizard in you is telling you, Library time! Probably. Do I, have, uh, I think I might have a book. It's just singing to you. It's like, it's time for So do we have library. to go to a town to get to a library? Yes, you can't just... Magical library in the middle of nowhere. Are you sure? To yes. me, it makes sense that we need these items to defeat this cult or to defend against something. What's that going seems on? To be coming. Yeah. Um, um, just because um, the cult seems to want them, and I don't think we should let them have them. So, how far is Snowdrop from where we are? Because that's like the nearest town, right? Um, I think it's like a two-day walk. Okay. Uh, but you can definitely make a nature check if you. You just want to see if you offhand remember something I about these like places. To. I'm pretty well traveled. Do you want to make I a nature know check? Too? Anything about these places, like anything. Per- I'm the- particularly curious about the magma part, just because I worship Herdine. What does Herdine have to do with magma? Mm. Fire. Magma's fire rock. Herdine is fire god. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say it, you can make a religion check, but it's going to be very hard, but just about the magma place. And then what about the other one? Would that just, could I make any sort of check just because I'm traveling around? I don't think that would be covered in any research you would have done. Or not even, okay. And then I probably wouldn't have seen Actual, it. Like, I was you just could make a religion have, check on that one. I was just thinking, like, just because I was walking around. Like, like you wouldn't have encountered watch. these places. Not encountered them, but like heard townspeople be like telling legends. No. Okay. So um, could I make like a hard you religion make check for both of them? Some very difficult religion checks. The okay. fire one magma? would be slightly easier. Yeah. Magma. Light. Okay. Sure. Although light hammer's my namesake. Which magma. Is kind of fun. Um. So you can make either a nature or a history. Because like these oh, could sure. could be places that come up in books that wizards would read. Can I do both, just in different roles? <laughs> um. You can only do one for each. Yeah. Yeah, so like okay. you can do a history for one of them and a nature for the other, but you okay, can't do a okay, history okay. and a nature for one. So I'll just, can I do one roll for both then? Or can it only be one? Oh, you just answered that question. You, you can do separate rolls for each, but they okay. 
only one roll for each of them. You can't make okay. you can't do have two tries at it basically. So, since you're trying the magma, I'm gonna try. He's the... trying both. I'm trying both. Okay, I'll try the clouds. But I'm trying to see if I know anything about like the religious significance that doesn't. Affect I'm just me looking at history. Okay. So. Okay, so what did you Magma get? I got a twenty-one. Okay. Um, cloud place. I got a thirteen. Twenty-one's tough. Thirteen gets you nothing. Yeah. Um, twenty-one. You vaguely heard of this place mm-hmm. in mention, but like it doesn't have anything to do connected with Herdine. Okay. Do I know a name? Or a vague name. Or like something this would be analogous you, to. Like, you, is this the underworld? No. You is this in a volcano? I would say you know it's not like the native plane of a god. You can't quite remember which one, but it is one of their favorites to visit. And to And it has nothing to do with Herdine. Nothing to do with Herdine. So it's probably like an Earth god. What's the Earth God? I, I know that, right? Yeah. Like, you'd be pretty familiar with all of the gods. I just need to... So, actually, can I just see the pantheon? Yeah. Okay. So, here, let me, like, answer your question, and then I will hand this to you. Okay. Um. <laughs> it might so, be, it there might be is religious text a stone and forge god, which is kind of, like, the closest to Earth. Yeah. Which is a, I just lost it, Forge. which is a dwarf by the name of Dweekin. 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 God of stone and the forge. This, this sounds, this sounds like Dweekin's place. Okay. To me. Like, just like as a player. And I guess as Ranger too. Um. So, like, your characters won't know this, I just want to put this out there. I chose this place because it very well fit the, like, theme of the god that I had picked the thing to be there for. Okay. Like, the scenery matched up almost perfectly. Okay. Um, Um, I wouldn't know much about religion. Yeah. So, I did my roll on the cloud. Okay. And I got an 18. Um... Seems familiar. You recognize it as one of the various planes of existence. You're not quite sure which one. I think that's notable. So we can't just like walk there. No. Unless we. You find cannot another walk to there. another plane of existence. <laughs> Wait, can we go back to the Fey and ask them for help if it's in another plane of existence? You I could try. Uh, well, I mean, just like the material plane, I don't know if they're going to have any way to get us there. They might. Maybe. I, I don't know. know. It might be worth a shot because there's that tree. Play with the Fey for a little bit. The tree still had the door, right? It I should. don't remember. And they had the, sh- it, like... the curtain. The... Yeah, That's and the little, like, once you got close to it, you, like, fell into a different dimension, right? Or into the yeah, Fey world. Tree. It's been a while. <laughs> trying to remember. Okay. So that's all we. Oh, I got it. That's all we know. Do you have any ideas, Vanny? From what you, from what I could understand, I think going back to the, ma- like, not the material plane, uh, where the Fey are, is that the material plane? You guys are on the material. The Fey area is known as the Fey Wild. I don't know. We could probably ask the Fey Wild to see if they have any portals, magic bridges, something. Do you think that's solid? And if solid? not, then, well, we can go Ooh. from there. We should ask Laya. She's technically an elf. She might know a little bit about the Fey Wild. Good point. That sounds it, like Laya. It sounds like people are forgetting something. So I'm gonna have everyone make a history check. Oh no. Uh, I got a fourteen. Fifteen. I keep rolling. All right, this dice Eight. is getting out of here. Okay, <laughs> Vanny and Marilyn, you both seem to recall the um. The Divine Watch woman, the White Dragonborn, asked you to find out as much information about this organization and then report back to her. 
Thank you for listening to Dice Quest. I'm JJ and I play Rangrim. You can find us on Twitter at Quest Dice.